In this video, we're going to be using HCNC Bond and the Alpha Outlaw Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in, folks. Welcome in. We have a good one for you today. You're using HCNC Bond, and this comes to you for $21 for five ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's a fair price of $420 an ounce. But keep in mind, with HCNC, you get a pretty heavy pour, so the value is even better than that. The scent on this is very nice. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Crisp, clean. Some of the notes are bergamot, jasmine, juniper, patchouli. Very, very nice scent, about medium scent strength, and very easy to use. This is in the HCNC top shelf base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. It's not tallow nor vegan because it contains things like goat's milk, lanolin, and tussa silk. It is very easy to use and it is very good indeed. And we look forward to using Bond uh, today because it smells great and who couldn't use a great scent when they're shaving. The razor for today is the Alpha Outlaw Razor. And this runs about $129.99. It is all stainless steel. Uh, it comes in two versions. There's a 0.56 blade gap and there's a 0.72 blade gap. I have the 0.72 and this again is made by Alpha Shaving and also at Executive Shaving they have a version of this razor as well that's made by Alpha. It's a very nice shaver and the knurling on this handle is really really awesome. I like this razor a lot and we look forward to using it today. So without further ado let's get into it. Hope you're having a great day so far. We're starting off here by just misting the face. If you're new, this is just plain water in a mister. And a reminder, I'll link all the products for you that I'm using today below. And also, as always, if you buy something from HCNC, uh, use promo code IMCDB right there. And uh, Hendrix, Mr. Hendrix, will send you a free gift. All right, we got a nice lather today. The brush, by the way, PAA Switchback 400 and the knot in the Switchback 400 is the uh, Sinbad knot from AP Shave Co. The Switchback 400, if you're not familiar, it's they sell just a handle at PAA and then you can put whatever knot you like in it. And I, I like that a lot. And we got a nice lather here. We always do with the HCNC. It's really, really good stuff. And it brings really good value. And so very nice indeed. I know I read a post somewhere where someone said Pete was going to have to cut back a little bit on the heavy pours. And we certainly understand that because Pete's prices were at least in the fair range already. So we can forgive that sort of thing. If your prices were already sky high and then you're raising them on top of it, that's a little less forgivable. But Pete, since he's already already providing exceptional value, if you can't do a, quite as heavy a pour, that's okay. I'm sure you still get what you're paying for because sometimes you get a soap it's supposed to be four ounces and you look in there and you're like, I don't think that's four ounces. But with Pete, I'm sure that whatever you're supposed to get, you're going to be getting because he's not going to short you. All right. Very nice. Great lather. Great scent. This has the makings of a great shave in terms of equipment. All I have to do is be great myself or at least good. And that's often the, the number one thing. How good, of, good are you? And let's face it, it's not rocket science. We're just shaving. You don't have to be all that good at it. <laughs> but you do have to be able to wield the equipment properly. That's the key. That's really the number one thing when it comes down to it. Your technique. Do you manage to wield the equipment properly? If you do and you know your face, you'll probably get a great shave. And if you don't, you probably won't. It's really as simple as that. All right. So this razor, you get some decent blade feel. And again, I'm using the 0.72 blade gap version. And it feels very nice. Got some good efficiency, feels good in the hand. The fit and finish is pretty doggone good. And the price is great, $129. Um, I mean, relative to other razors on the market, some of the prices are getting sky high on razors. I saw the uh, a rock nail sailor the other day was pushing 500 and at that point I have to say folks 
at that point, I'm out. I mean, I've gone as high as 350, and I honestly, I feel conflicted about even doing that. But when, when it's 500 bucks, that's a no. I mean, that's a no. That's you're getting, you know, at that point, close to a car note or something like that, and that's just. Uh, even though it's a lifetime investment and you know i can justify spending more for hardware because you know this will last forever when it's in that 500 range that's just at that point that's a no um yeah that is that is uh, no knock on anybody who chooses to pay that if you have the discretionary income and you can afford it then you know by all means buy it enjoy it but for me it's just um that's in the outrageous realm for a razor, <laughs> just for me to pay. May not be for you, but I think uh, it makes me want to come back to these razors like this one here, $129. It's a fine shaver. And I got an email question from a gentleman yesterday, and he wanted to know, the question was, do premium razors really shave you better than just regular razors or um, even stainless steel razors that aren't super pricey, say like the Game Changer? And the answer to that is, by and large, the answer is no. Now, there are some advantages to some of the premium razors. There's the craftsmanship, there's the precision, there's the fit and finish, there's the, the uh, pleasure that you get from owning them. And when you pick up a really nice razor, it's just kind of fun and to, to hold it and look at it and things like that. There is some, some personal benefit to that. But in terms of the shave, almost everyone can find a razor that is not pricey, that is not say over a hundred bucks. You, you can find a great razor for well under a hundred bucks, easy, that will shave spectacularly. So don't feel compelled to buy premium gear if you don't want to, but if you do, I'm not gonna knock you for that. Either way you go, it's really your decision, but don't feel that, especially if you're just starting, that you have to buy a 300, $400 razor. It is absolutely not required. And there are many razors that you'll be able to use and get a great shave from. Like I said before, the number one thing is you, the user. How do you wield the equipment? And if you get to know your face and get to know your growth patterns and you know learn to get the best out of the gear you have, you'll get a great shave. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about the soap. Scent, terrific. I absolutely love it. It is another hit from HCNC. No surprise there. He's done a lot of soaps that are just, this might be an inspired scent, but I can't remember what it might be inspired by, but it, well, if, if it's not, I apologize. Um, I can't recall one way or the other, but it smells great. <laughs> that much I know. I hope we see uh, aftershaves from HCNC in the future because, you know, Pete's always going to put out something great. And by the way, I'm, I'm using the uh, HCNC black bowl that Pete sent. And when I get home, I'll be giving away my other bowl to you all. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a while yet. Yeah. I don't know when I'll get home, but I'm imagining it'll be maybe probably somewhere around May-ish, something like that, because we're still well in the recovery phase here with my mother. Oh man, that feels beautiful. And I'm telling you right now, this razor for 129 bucks, I think it's a great deal, honestly. Just, it's well made. The handle, if you're a knurling person, this, this particular handle has terrific knurling. Really, really good. So I will definitely be looking, you know, to razors, you know, like this, um, that provide great value. Now I own a few razors that are quite expensive as well. Um, the most expensive, probably the Tatara Miramasa and the uh, Konzo, which I recently purchased. Um, and those razors are fantastic, both. But I'll tell you again, is it absolutely required to have those? Absolutely not you will be able to find a razor that works great for you for less money, almost assuredly. So keep that in mind. Don't feel that you have to be, you know, always buying the most expensive of everything. If you want to, and you can, great, you know, I'm happy for you. I try not to knock people or their purchasing choices either way. If you can afford it, do what fits within your budget. But also, if you're a budget-minded person and you just want to get the Game Changer or a Merker 34C or whatever, that's okay too. Because I still get great shaves with the Merker 34C and a, a host of other inexpensive razors. 
as I always like to mention, Kim Gray sent me that 28 cent razor. I got a great shave from that. Now, do you have the pride and ownership and does it feel great in the hand and all that? No, and there is value in that. I think oftentimes people who poo poo premium gear discount the joy that you get out of owning something really, really nice. And that, that, that means for something, not for the shave really, but the pride and ownership, the, you know, maybe you have it on a display somewhere, maybe you have a nice case or something. And, and there is some enjoyment from that, just like you might enjoy, a, you know, a, a, a nice tool. You, you know, you can get a cheap hammer, you can get a more pricey hammer. That's probably not a good uh, example there because tools, sometimes better quality does, you know, they last longer and so on and so forth. But anyway, you get what, maybe a knife or something, a kitchen knife, let's say. If you buy a really nice quality kitchen knife, you, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of times you get better performance. It keeps a better edge and so on and so forth. Uh, and it brings you more enjoyment. But I would say when it comes to razors, just keep in mind, it's mostly when it's premium, it's mostly about the build materials. It might last you longer. It might hold up longer. It might look better. Um, and there's pride of ownership and that is worth considering too. So I see both sides of the argument because I'm a generally a budget-minded person, especially when it comes to software. But with hardware, you know, I have a little leeway there because I realize these razors are lifetime investments. But this one here is, you know, as far as all stainless steel razors go, 129 bucks. I think it's a really nice shaver. And I have enjoyed using it and I bring it out from time to time and I'm always happy with the result. So. You don't have to pay $350 or $400 for a razor. That's what I'm getting at. You don't even have to pay 100 because there are many razors well under even 50 bucks that shave well. So keep that in mind. And I tell you, I'm very pleased with Bond, the soap today. It is very nice. And don't forget to uh, check out Hendrix if you haven't. Check out that those scenting oils. So give you a use case here. So let's say you bought the Bond soap here. And you thought, oh, that scent, I would like more of it. Buy the scenting oil along with it. And now you can put the scent exactly where you want it. If you want super stout, you can make it super stout. So that's the virtue of uh, those scenting oils. You can get the exact scent strength that you want or require. And it puts control in your hands, which I like a lot. I think that's really excellent. And I tell you what, this has been a spectacular shave today. Let's just touch up right there. Get the, those little bits of lather. Get right here a little bit. And that is phenomenal. Uh, blade, by the way, is Gillette Nasset as always. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No necks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with HCNC Bond and this was just excellent. I absolutely loved it. Phenomenal. Once again, another hit from HCNC. I absolutely loved it. I also absolutely love using the Alpha Outlaw Razor. Again, available for $129.99, all stainless steel. Very good razor, I enjoyed that a lot. We used our PAA Switchback 400 brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will finish it out today with the Wet the Face, the Quiet Man Aftershave, complete with the floaties. And I hope wherever you are today, you have an excellent shave and an excellent day. We're going to get off to a good start here today. We're feeling good, hopefully looking good or as good as I'm capable <laughs> of looking. We have a great shave, let's put it that way. Hope you get one too. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.